All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Blueprint Entertainment. Today we're going to be playing some more of the quarry. Uh, I think the last episode, if I'm not mistaken, kind of ended kind of weird. Jacob got captured in some kind of trap, and then Billy Bob came to let him out, and then uh, it was just crazy. Hit him in the face with some dirt to distract him, but that's how it ended. It was kind of weird, so... Uh, like always, live on Twitch, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, let's keep going. I'm going to keep rolling out these chapters. I'll probably finish it by the end of the weekend. So thank you for watching, and remember, your life is your blueprint, so make it a good one. That was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Okay. <laughs> Dang, dude, he got tore up bad. Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what those guys Dude did is about you? to die, bro. Gosh, did. He's super out. Of he doesn't even know what's going on. Hunter. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What oh, no. kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. It's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Yeah, it's Abby. Barely like speak. Okay, dude, she's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me, I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh fuck! Look at that. Oh shit! Ooh. That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Smart move. Cut it off before the infection spreads. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look so he doesn't die? Stuff. What do you mean? What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Uh oh, the monster's coming back. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? But be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah, but is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm here to save you. How are you here to save them, dude? Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Who was the genius to decide to run around so naked wait, anyways? Like, what is he what doing? What happened to you? Right, right. Okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like, as fast as I could. From the lake. Yeah, and then and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a like a booby trap, like some sort of hunter's trap. 
Hunters. I told you it was hunters. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop. So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? No, oh, a live no, one. No, 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 no. Um, Jeez. One of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice, and it was... Yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell, because it was, like, all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. Gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. I'll say you two fight yeah, for the I don't gun. Think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? All right. Y'all playing and somebody pulls the trigger on accident. Better slow down. <laughs> We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan. Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. Guy's always like crying about something. Like, geez, bro. How? Nick can't walk properly. Y'all gotta carry him. Yeah, I have an idea. Whirl barrel might work. Okay. Let's see what Tanae brings. This girl's over here, no clothes okay. on. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was She's here, over here doing a on nightly a podcast. Inhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Full moon, so it's kind of crazy looking out there. Okay, full disclosure. I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm going to go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water. Kind of like an airbed. But... I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling, and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative, if I mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me.
I say you take the high road and go home. Oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess... I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? <sighs> Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. This is actually kind of fun. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, See, Jacob, I, I'm telling you guys watching. again and again, she's strong and independent. It's she doesn't amazing. need a man. We're cool, right? Yeah. And she's We're for the streets for kissing Nick the way she did. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Still warm. Looks like someone was just here. That was probably Billy Bob's fire right there. Quoth the raven nevermore. I guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? See, now she's not even thinking. Why would you climb a ladder one-handed? Put the phone in your back little, great. <laughs> I guess, undie sleeve thing and climb. Oh, shit. Why would you be doing it with one hand? Look at you. See? Ow. Snap both ankles. Yeah, see, now you could have did that the first time and you probably would have been okay. All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 1805 by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And oh look, it se seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Dude, something is in there. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible pink? Yeah, death? don't open that spooky trap door. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. So she's finally getting dressed, y'all. Some pepper spray and a taser. Hmm. Fun. Okay, so I think there's something up there. Don't open and that. It is not 
can make me jump, I can promise Something you that. is in there rumbling. Like, that doesn't sound good at all. Don't do it. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. All right. Oh, heck no. I t oh told her not to open that, and she's just standing there. Get out of there. Look at how crazy this dude looks. You, you took a picture of him? Really? Dang, that dude looks crazy. Look how fast he is, too. Girl, oh my god, she dropped the taser. You better. Hey, at least she's using what she got around her. Zip line. Oh, heck no. Dang, this dude looks crazy. She's like, take this mist bomb. Girl, look, your ankles are snapped. Can't do nothing. Oh, my. He's going to eat her. He's going to eat her. He's going to eat her. All right, this girl's the most ditziest character, and she's, like, fighting the hardest right now to stay alive. There is a window to the right of you. Do you not see that window? The thing could just come through the window. There, I just said the window. This girl is walling out. Oh, look at him. He took a bite out of her arm. Yeah, she's bleeding. You're not going to be able to really use that taser much. After a while, he's going to be numb to it. It's not even going to hurt him anymore. No way he's that slow. He was just running and jumping. And he couldn't get up that ladder fast enough to open that. And he didn't have enough strength to open up the trapdoor. Come on now. Like, this be serious with yourself now. Easy. Nah, now nah, look, look at this. I got it. He's okay. Nick's dead, y'all. Believe it or not, he's he's definitely dead. No, no, sorry. I'm just I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> they got to get some emergency assistance. I mean, this dude is, he's, he's got to be dead. Like, seriously. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Oh, heck no. Dylan's next, y'all. Where are you going? Demon started calling his name. I, I, I thought I just heard my name oh i heard it trust I me i heard it i heard a demon call you i don't think nick's injuries are as bad as we thought
Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Ghostbusters. Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. Really, bro? 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there. I don't there know why he's making it so difficult. Us. You need so emergency say, assistance. 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Dude, just call, yeah, yeah, bro. That's, that's good. You need emergency assistance. Okay. People need medical assistance. Boom. Done and over with. Oh, What's the wrong? line got cut. Dead. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Don't get trigger happy, bro. Okay. Uh, oh my it's, gosh. It's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Somebody Bear. shut that power off. Why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. He's like, Call of Duty. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You man. don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. <sighs> Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupted something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. 
Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Are we going back to Emma or? Yeah, we're back at Emma. For sure. Looks like she's going to zip line across that. The last chance. I think who's ever, whoever's getting um, bit and scratched are definitely going to die like they have to. Better hurry up and keep cranking that thing. Forget about it making noise. Just do it. Oh, heck no, dude. Look at this dude. Bro, you better hurry up. And he missed her again. That makes strike number two, Mr. Scary Man. Why would you drop early? Why would you drop early instead of on the dock? Monsters all zip lining too, like right behind her. That'd be funny to watch. 